amazing. It's awesome. I can't wait. We are here again. I'm the chef today. Lokman is filmed. Teresa and Lokman. Lokman and Teresa. Teresa and Hello again, you welcome to our channel, Teresa and Blokman. Today we have a great Moroccan recipe for you, fried sardines or baked sardines. Stick with us, we will show you how to make it. And don't forget, check the description below, we have our 8 authentic Moroccan recipe ebook. Okay, I'm first going to show you how to clean your sardine. It's very easy, but there's a method, so come look. Take your thumb and you're basically breaking the spine. Rip the spine and you pull out the guts. Take your thumb, stick it right in the middle, find the spine here and rub your thumb all the way down the spine to rip the fish in half. Once you have your fish in half filleted, you reach in and grab the spine. We want the whole spine. I hold the spine in one hand and take my other thumb and pointer finger and rub it all the way down the spine so that you can pull the whole thing out. Don't forget in the back, take out the, the upper spine. This is our fillet. This is exactly what we want, our fillets. Perfect. We have all of our fillets. Most of them we're going to bake. Less oil, a bit healthier, right? And the rest of them we're going to fry. It's very traditional in Morocco to fry the sardines in flour. Now because I don't eat flour, we're going to fry ours in red lentils. It's amazing, crispy, healthier, delicious. To make your batter to fry them in, it's simply soaked red lentils, a little bit of water, and salt. It's very simple. I will link our red lentil flatbread recipe. It's the same recipe to make this batter. You're just making it thicker using a little less water. So let's do it. Okay, now we will make our herbed spice marinade. Very simple, we use garlic, some fresh herbs, spices, lemon, olive oil. Our spices today are paprika, cumin, black pepper, uh, powdered ginger, and salt. We have parsley, garlic, lemon, and olive oil. This is our marinade. Don't forget about our ebook. Check the description below. Okay, don't forget exact amounts and portions are written in the description below. Parsley is super healthy for the body. Okay, because mom always used a ton of garlic, I use a ton of garlic. And luckily, Lokman also loves a ton of garlic. Bishawraha, in good health. <laughs> Dad also loves sardines. Dad loves sardines, you're right, yeah. Okay, Dad, watch this recipe and make them home. Yes, absolutely, with lots of garlic. We have all of our sardines in a big bowl. Now, we're putting the same marinade on both the fried and the baked, make your life easy, everything in one bowl. Let's do it. We cleaned the sardines and we gave them a gentle rinse. So in our bowl, we put parsley, lots of garlic mom, nice amount of olive oil, we want about half the amount of oil. We want a lemon, right? Nice and citrusy. Lemony. A lot of paprika. About half as much of black pepper and cumin. And then slightly less powdered ginger. And don't forget your salt. Traditionally, you will make your marinade in a separate bowl and then you will take your sardines one at a time and stuff them and get them in marinade. Now, this is kind of the quick, fast way to do it, but you have to be very careful that you don't break up your sardines. So I've done this many times, so that's why I'm doing it this method. But I recommend if it's your first time, put all your spices, herbs, water, everything in a separate bowl, mix it, and then you can marinate your sardines. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and mix everything together. It smells super good. All the fresh herbs, all the garlic, spices. 
And you have to be very gentle if you're doing it this way, as to not break up the fillets. But you're a master chef, you know what you're doing. Now I'm a master chef, yes, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> After finishing the marinade, put them to the side. Let's begin baking first. Now, anywhere in Morocco, if they're baked or barbecued, they will thinly slice um, tomato and onion and line the tray with it and then put the sardines on top. So we're gonna do it that way. Do the Moroccan way. Of course, we're in Morocco. <laughs> She's slicing tomatoes. And now she's slicing onion. This is the first time I've ever eaten sardines, I think, like this in Morocco. Back home, uh -huh. you, when you barbecue and you bake, you don't put onion or tomatoes? I had never barbecued sardines or baked sardines in the US ever. I know sardines in a can, super, super small. In a can? <laughs> I had never even seen sardines of this size. No, okay, forget about can. Let's have, we will have fresh sardines. Dima, always. Because we live near to the ocean. The ocean is right there. It could throw a rock and into the ocean. So we have to eat fresh sardines. That's super cheap. It's like one dollar. You can have one kilo of sardines. Really, really. It's the cheapest fish in the market probably. And it's so delicious. How do you say one kilo? Like one kilo is about gallon? 2.2 pounds. 2.2 pounds. Yeah, so you can feed a family of four easily with a dollar of sardines. Moroccan lokmen. The onion goes on the bottom, correct? Yeah. And then the tomato kind of goes on top, and then we put our sardines. Yeah, because the tomatoes is easy to be cooked, mm -hmm. and onions, they take longer time. You take your sardines and you build one layer on the bottom. You'll take some of the, I believe they call it charmola? some of the, the herbs and the garlic and the spices, you'll put that in between and then you put another layer of sardines on top. You're building like a sardine sandwich. So let's do it. I'm taking some of the juicy stuff in the middle, some of that herb and garlic, and I'm putting it on top. And then you cover it. The more sauce, the more flavor, which is delicious. Um, again, you can make that sauce in a separate bowl and you can layer your plain sardines and then pour the sauce in the middle and then put a plain sardine on top. It's kind of, you know, your method, but the idea is you're building a little sardine sandwich. And believe me guys, it tastes super delicious. Yeah, you're not so much of a fish guy, but you love these sardines like this, right? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Now we have mini sardine sandwich. Okay, sardines are ready. We put them in 180 degrees Celsius, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven. If you can put the top and bottom flame, do it. About 15 minutes and then we'll check them. Should be good. Let's go. Okay, the sardines are baking. Now we're taking the remaining sardines and we will fry them. They are so delicious. Again, red lentil batter. Traditionally in Morocco, they use flour. I can't eat flour, so we're using red lentils. My oil is getting hot. Now from here, I'm doing the same, same method. I'm building a sandwich. So I will take one filet. Should I come to you to show me? Yeah, come over here. Take one filet. It has some nice juicy marinade, but we're gonna take a little bit more, make sure we're good. So we have our first side. We close our sandwich. Great, now take your sandwich, dunk it in your marinade, and make sure your marinade should be thick like this. You don't want it to be too thin. And you already put the oil on? The oil is on. Okay, make sure your fish holds some batter here. And make sure to don't fry it your hand. All right, that's okay. There we go. And if you can, it's important to find the same size filet. The Beautiful. two, they fit each other. They fit. Batter. It's okay. Ooh. Okay, traditionally in Morocco, you're deep frying. You have that little basket and you're deep frying your sardines. We don't have that method. So I do want to warn you, with your red lentil batter, let it come up on its own. If you put it in and you only wait a moment and then you want to flip it, you're going to ruin it. Let it cook about 
two, three minutes on the first side, and when it begins to come up easily on its own, that's when you know, okay, I'm gonna flip it. Mmm, crispy. Yeah, beautiful. All right, we've taken our sardines out of the oven. They're all finished. Check them out, they look amazing. beautiful fried, you can hear them, they're crispy and crunchy. And these are beautiful baked with that onion and tomato. This is a little cilantro mayonnaise, homemade mayonnaise. That will be delicious to dunk them in. But this goes so well with a Moroccan salad. So we will link our Moroccan salad recipe up here. Don't forget about the ebook. You can also get that recipe in our ebook. So, bishawraha kemlin. In good health, enjoy your sardines. We hope you make them. If you do, tag us on Instagram. Let us know. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. And now, I want to try. Crunchy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's crunchy, it's citrusy, it's like herby, spice, it's incredible. Try the fried version. <laughs> yeah, the fried version because it has uh, the red lentils on mm, it. Super crunchy. That's why it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. But still, uh, the baked one. It has very little oil, just a little bit, right? Yeah, but uh, olive oil is healthy too. Oh, it's so it's so good. Yeah, the sardine is a beautiful fish. It's a really delicious baked or fried and um, squeeze some lemon We really hope you enjoy the sardine recipe sardines are cheap and they're healthy. They're amazing. They're delicious You can bake them fry them Don't forget to check out our red lentil flatbread recipe so you can fry them and red lentils. Thanks for for tuning in We hope to see you next time. Don't forget we have all sorts of playlists if you're into our recipe videos We have vegan recipes uh, healthy recipes if you're into our vlogs We have a lot of content here in Morocco. We also have English and Moroccan Arabic content Content, don't forget to check out our playlist link right up here. <laughs> See you guys next time. Take care. I'm going, don't, don't. I'm building a sandwich. I'm going in. Are you ready?